In our video on marketing mix, one of the four P's of marketing was price. And of course, whenever we think about a product, one of the first questions we ask is, how much? Price is the amount you charge for your product or your service. And on the face of it, it's a simple economic, financial calculation, far divorced from the world of marketing. After all, all we need to do is know how much it costs to make the product and to sell it, add on a little margin of profit, and there's your price. Oh, if it were only that simple. Because of course, there are lots of other considerations that come into our decisions around pricing, and many of them are fundamentally marketing decisions. Because pricing is about more than just cost, it's about providing an incentive for people to buy. It's about differentiating your product from other competitors. It's about creating a competitive advantage, and it can be a promotional tool. So, Choosing the right pricing strategy is going to be vital for any product or service. You need to set the right tone in the marketplace. You need to uh, attract the right customers. And of course, you have to set the ground for all sorts of promotional activities that use price as a lever. These include things like payment terms, credit terms, payment plans, bundling discounts, ad hoc or seasonal discounts, and other discount policies. As a result, economic considerations like cost and profit are only the starting place when you're considering the price. And of course, often cost and profit are a given for a marketer. You have to work with a fixed cost and a requirement for a fixed profit and still market your product effectively. So to do that, you need to think in terms of what your marketing objectives are. Is your objective, for example, to survive in the marketplace? To break into a new market? To seize control of a niche? To maximize sales? Or to maximize profit? To grow and maintain a market share? Or to eliminate a competitor? to differentiate your product on quality and perception, or to build deep customer loyalty. And of course, you need to overlay these marketing objectives, whichever one of them is relevant to you, upon your existing competitive position in the marketplace. For example, you may be a monopoly supplier. Therefore, the market is going to be insensitive to your price. However, remember, your reputation is not. You may be a market leader looking for the opportunity to take a slightly greater profit out of your product or service. You may be a cost leader for the strategy of setting low prices to dominate the market. Or you may be a new entrant into the market using pricing to gain a foothold. You may be a niche player, in which case you'll want to set prices to exploit a very particular need or to build loyalty. Or you may have a declining brand, in which case you will use prices as a way to protect the last remnants of your sunk investment. All of this means you'll be setting a pricing strategy with an eye to what it will do for things like customer demand, customer perceptions, and the responses of your competitors. Now, I am certainly not going to go into the economics and the financials of pricing. That's way outside of the scope of this video or indeed this course. However, I do want to look at some of the broad strategies you can take for pricing your product. Pricing strategy number one is cost plus. All we do here is we calculate our costs, all of our costs, all the way through the supply chain, and then we add an additional sum to cover our profit. 
Pricing strategy number two is a target profit. We set a target profit, usually in terms of a percentage markup, and then we add that to our costs. Pricing strategy three is value-based pricing. We totally ignore the cost of producing our products or delivering our services and look at how customers will value what they get, and we price accordingly. And a variant on this, of course, is to identify what perceptions we want customers to have for the value of our product and price it to drive those perceptions. Pricing strategy number four is competitive pricing. We ignore what our costs are to a degree and we look at what our competitors are pricing their competitive products at and we set our prices accordingly. Of course, we do have to be very careful when we do this because if there is a whiff of collusion in the marketplace, then in most jurisdictions, regulators will jump in and look to prosecute. And finally, there's geographic pricing. This is all about different pricing strategies in different geographical areas or regions. This is becoming increasingly less common or certainly less marked simply because of the ready availability of buying products from outside of your own geography because of the web. However, shipping costs still mean that many customers are not able to buy products or indeed services from outside their jurisdiction. So there are still some geographic pricing strategies in play in the commercial world. Pricing products is a dark art. It is very difficult to get it right and organizations struggle with this. There's always the fear that if you overprice products, then your market for them will collapse. If you underprice products, you'll be losing margin and therefore giving away profit. However, if you get it right, pricing is a key lever in marketing your product. And so understanding the basic principles is essential for any manager. Please do give us a like if you've enjoyed this video. I'll be making loads more great management courses content, so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and in the meantime, keep learning.